Welcome to the 2019 Muskegon Community College Jayhawk Baseball Show. I am the head coach, Greg Guzman. I have two of my assistants with us today. On my left here is Coach Beach. He is in his third year. He handles our hitters, catchers, recruiting. Um, on my right is Coach Garrett Moyer. Uh, he's also in his third year. He handles the infield, the outfield, um, bunting, strength and conditioning. Um, so we all do a little bit of everything. I do the, obviously, the uh, uh, overall operations on a daily basis. Um, what we're going to do today is just kind of talk shop um, and, and get you guys caught up to uh, speed on, on, on where the program is, where it's headed, and, and, and how we win the, uh, the regional title this, this spring. So, um, Coach Beach, we'll start with you. Uh, let's talk about just the preparation of the fall and the... Uh, you know, the first 65, 90 days that, uh, of, of the preparation before we head down to our spring trip in Florida. So Yeah, Coach, uh, it's very exciting when the kids come in here in the fall. We go through a very rig rigorous program, and we make sure the kids understand when they're coming into fall baseball here at Muskegon Community College that um, there's, there's a lot of preparation, not only on the baseball field, but off the baseball field, understanding how to be a student athlete managing your time. Coach Meyer does a great job getting the kids working out in the weight room, conditioning, and then Coach Guzman is, is overlooking everything. Uh, it's not for everybody. Uh, it's a tough grind in the fall, but that really helps set, set us uh, apart from, I think, some of the other schools and uh, in preparation to fully understand what it is to be a, a student athlete here going into the fall and, and getting through the entire fall which uh, you know, we'll usually end up finishing the middle of October, first part of uh, November, but then they continue on into the weights that so Coach Moyer can uh, speak more. But it, it helps get their mindset right and uh, in managing their time is a big thing. We're working on skills, but we're also trying to weed out uh, the kids that you know, might not be able to, to handle it here. Yes, I think the biggest thing for uh, incoming freshmen anyways is um, you know, their, their season started in March. Uh, they played well into June. Uh, a lot of them play summer ball. And, and, and then they pick right back up when, when the classes start here the day after Labor Day. And, and, and then we get started until the end of November. So it's, uh, it's an extremely long senior year, season slash freshman year. Um, and, and, and it takes a special individual. Uh, very seldom is talent the uh, sole, um, you know, tool that we're looking for uh, and, and we're looking more of the mental grind than anything so coach if you want to kind of touch base on that um. yeah for the most part I mean like it, it's fun to see all the kids come in I mean we show up with about 60 to you know 55 to 60 kids and, and it's just a wild first week everybody's really excited um, and like coach Beach was saying uh, you know we kind of weed the week and 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 we don't we don't try to be too mean about it. Obviously, we, we you know we, we give everybody an opportunity, but you know that that mental grind is what we're looking for. And and most of the time, the ones that you know that that can't make it, they, they kind of just leave on their own. I mean, I don't think we really even had to make too many cuts. Um, like Coach said, I think it's a really long year for the the seniors coming in, and um, you know they have to learn. And Coach talks about the time management all the time. It's probably one of the biggest issues because you know. We're, ath we're student athletes as well. So, I mean, we pound the books into the kids' heads and they're here to get degrees. And, um, and that's the most important thing. So we do library hours, um, four hours a week. We have study tables. Um, so after asking for the kids to put in what a, a ton of hours into not just baseball, but into school as well, you know, it, it, what we're looking for is a commitment. And it's, um, it, it's really fun to watch. It's fun to watch it turn into what it is when we have 55 to 60 kids that we have to turn into, you know, maximum of 32 with some red shirts. So it, it's a really fun process. And uh, so far this year, it's been, it's been good to us. Yeah, we're, we're currently sitting at 26. Uh, as, as far as our roster, we have um, two red shirts that will uh, save their eligibility for next year. And, and, and they should be able to be impact players next year after a, a additional year of, of learning. Um, you know, as far as the uh, academic side of it, you know, we also do uh, progress reports. Um, so, so we understand the importance of academics and, and, and where it will take them a after their baseball careers 
are, are, are finished or completed. Um, you know, we've had in my 16 years here, we've had one player drafted. Uh, we've had three All-Americans. So, so really, you know, it's, we, we understand the importance of the academic side of it and, and, and how, how tough it is to juggle it for, for some kids who, who really haven't had to, uh, you know, to worry about the grind as far as the three-month season in high school. Um, and now they're coming into a 10-month season, you know, and, and it's just tougher classes. Uh, they have to hold, hold themselves a little more accountable um, and, and things of that nature. And, it, and it's all kind of in a new surrounding, uh, new, you know, new uh, teammates, new staff. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. And, and it, it takes special individuals to, to be able to um, not, not only uh, manage it, but teach themselves on, on how to grow from it as well. And then when they get out of here, you know, most of our kids, I'd say 85 to 90 percent, have the opportunity to play after our uh, after their stay here, um, pr provided they, they handle the academic side of it. Um, so so it's, it's a great opportunity for any student athlete that joins our program. But to say it is simple, uh, that, that would be a big, uh, big understatement. So. Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about, uh, you know, once we've um, established who we're going to keep through the fall and then, uh, you know, we come back in January and let's get started when we're getting our preparation once the kids have kind of went home and now they're back um, in, in January and we're starting our season, which is January 14th generally, and just kind of the daily day-to-day -day operations of the recruiting, um, the fundraising aspect you know, the preparation for the Florida trip, and Coach, we'll start with you um, being, being our recruiting coordinator. So. Yeah, the, the recruiting process lasts pretty much year-round. When we send them away uh, over Christmas break, we hope that uh, they're keeping themselves in shape. It's going to be, you know, a good month before we're back at it again officially, and we can't we can't uh, have them at workouts and such when they're off for, for Christmas break. So uh, it's, it's imperative that these kids are continuing to work out over Christmas break and the new year. So when they get back, um, not like the old days where you utilize that time to get in shape, um, it's continuing to be in shape and hopefully we're hitting the, hitting the ground running. So uh, being in Michigan, you all know, uh, we've got the weather elements to deal with. We're fortunate to probably have the best indoor facility in the entire mi Midwest uh, for a JUCO school uh, at, uh, at the Pines that, that Coach uh, assists on running there. And that's a huge advantage for us. We're able to set up, and, and Coach, uh, you can uh, talk more about this, but we're able to set up a whole, whole size infield. We can take some fly balls. We can hit live in there. It's a huge advantage for us. So, so it's, it's hitting the ground running when we come back. Kids are expected to, to be in shape. The biggest thing that they uh, don't have in shape or, or should, shouldn't have there is, is their arm and especially the pitchers. So a lot of time is spending, spent uh, working on the arms, getting those ready because uh, this year it was six weeks before we had our first game down in Florida. So uh, the practice plans that coach puts together are, are imperative. They're very important. Kids are following this, whether they're a pitcher, catcher, infield, outfield, or whatever it is. Uh, and they're following these things. In addition to the facility, the coach will speak more about um, they're able to work out, lift weights, swim, get extra running in and such. Uh, but like I said, it's getting the, hitting the ground running. We've got to get ready for a game, a live game, six weeks uh, down the road, which is really not a whole lot of time uh, for us to prepare. Um, but Coach Meyer uh, really gets those guys whipped into shape very quickly. And uh, the, the kids follow the program. And, and we're getting ready uh, in six weeks like we did this year to, to open our season in Florida. And Coach Moyer, what, what really goes into uh, your preparation for the kids and, and getting that ready? Yeah, um, you know, over the break when they go home, we give them a full program of working out and even a nutrition plan that we hope they follow, you know. And, and this year, I think they did a great job. I mean, the kids really came in shape. They followed the program, um, which gives a lot of credit to our sophomores. Um, it's a really good group of sophomores that are leading our freshmen, and, uh, and they have just gotten after it. And it, it's been really awesome to see. Um, and, and as far as, you know, we mixed in some Pilates, some hip mobility, um, you know, a lot of things. There's some kids that needed to gain weight and gain muscle mass, so we put them on specific programs. Um, other than that, it's just stretching and, and you know, really 
endurance for the long season. I mean, we play 56 games in the matter of two and a half months, so it, it's a lot on the body that you have to prepare for. Um, and yeah, like, like Coach was talking about our academy, um, we're really hoping it helps take us to the next level. Um, you know, that first day everybody gets there and they're super excited and we got all this space to be able to stretch out our arms, like Coach talked about, that we used to not have. So um, we got kids being able to throw the ball all the way across the diamond. Um, should that, that really helps our arms get into shape for, you know, quickly as far as we only have six weeks to, to get going. Um, and then obviously we get to do some live stuff, um, some small or, you know, some small ball stuff and um, it, it, it's just really helped and I think it's proven that so far this year of what we've done um, having that academy at our hands. Um, and, and on top of that, it, it, again, the sophomores have just been great. I mean, um, just Jake Conklin, Trey, or Jake Souls, um, Colin Houseman, Tyus Beach, um, Sean Casey, just all these sophomores have just really bought into the program and and it, it, it's helped us a lot as far as having the freshmen come along because, I mean, they don't really know, you know, the, the, they don't know. So to have that sophomore class really step up and do all the right things is, is, is really helping us. Yeah, it's something that Coach Guzman has really uh, stressed uh, in Coach Meyer and I's time. And mm -hmm. that's, that's one of our, I think, all of our great joys, and you can speak more to this, Coach. Our great joys is just the leadership we've had from the sophomores. And guys are coming to work every day every day and ready to get after it. Yeah, the, the glory is, um, you know, th this is my fifth season at, at the head. Um, so I, I've spent f uh, nine as a assistant. Um, you know, I, I had about a 13 month hiatus. Uh, well, I had a newborn daughter at the time. She'll be six in May. Uh, but yes, just uh, get, getting the, the fresh faces to buy in and it makes it a lot, lot simpler when, when they watch the guys that are on top of them. Uh, grind every day and, and, and never take a um, you know a, a pitch or a day for granted um, and, and it just kind of sets the tone uh, for the program so I I think as far as recruiting it, it, it's helped uh, with our recruiting um, and we've been able to get some more talented players you know we've got a couple D1 guys that we've been able to to, to get our hands on that uh, you know the talent level is high and then for, for a small you know small school player who, who was their best player out of let's just say a d4 program in the state to watch a a division one player you know just uh engulfed in sweat on a daily basis it it, it lets the the smaller town guys know what what's kind of required here and what it takes to uh you know to, to to compete at the high level that we're trying to compete at at you know as far as uh for, for conferences um regionals and, and, and nationals so uh it and it just kind of you know, rolls over year after year and, and, and it should just keep, you know, getting better and better as far as the talent that continues to come. And, and, and we're excited to see kind of where it goes from here. Um, yeah, the acquisition of, uh, you know, the Norton Pines um, Athletic Club, uh, I've kind of partnered up with the owners there and we've got a uh, 21,000 square feet baseball facility off the back end. Um, and, and we've been able, to, been able to create some things that, that have been very beneficial to, to both of our softball and baseball programs here at Skeen Community College. So I anticipate the girls this year should compete at a much higher level. Um, and, and, you know, and our motto for the year is uh, continue the climb because we're trying to climb back into that uh, perennial, you know, um, regional appearance team that, that we were for my nine years as an assistant. I believe we made it seven of those nine years. Although the format has changed now, and we have an East and a West conference, um, all a part of the same conference, but you essentially you have to be in the top three now, where before we had to make it into the top 15. And we, and we also have 16 teams in our conference now. So the East and the West each have uh, eight, eight teams in their bracket. Um, and, and the East has two Division III uh, baseball programs that don't qualify for our region. So it makes it a little more uh, tougher for the uh, west side teams to, um, you know, to, to get into that top three. We've actually finished in fourth the last three years, um, and, and, and that's been our grind and our motivation is to get, get that last uh, game that we've let slip away um, over the last three seasons. You know, we're, we're looking to capture that. We're looking, uh, hoping to contend for the conference title this year. Um, but uh, just kind of a, a glimpse of kind of how the format goes and how you make the postseason and, and things of that nature. So 
Um, let, let's move on to the uh, Florida trip. Um, you know, we go down there for 12 games. Uh, last two years, we've been at historic Dodger Town. Uh, Coach Beach kind of tipped us off on that beautiful facility. So, Coach, let's start with you as far as uh, Dodger Town and, and kind of what it does for us and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, the one, the one thing we did this year, which was a uh, tremendous was we were able we had the opportunity to stay in the villas which is great great at the facilities there so we didn't have to get in vans or or vehicles to really go anywhere we could actually just walk right out onto the field uh gives guys a chance to if they forgot something they can run back to their room still have time to do that stuff but you know when you when you're headed down and, and you have all these thoughts and hopes you know, the, the, their thoughts and hopes, you, you know, we're going to struggle at some things because it's the first time we're getting outside. But, um, you know, first couple of games, we got off a little bit slow. We were able to get a victory out of our first two games. And um, some of the things that really stood out to me down there is just um, I, th I think our mental makeup was, was tremendous and our expectations um, and, and how we uh, pursued and, and prepared. And, and uh, the pitching was tremendous, I think. Uh, uh, we expected it to be good, but I don't know if we expected it to be as good as it's been so far. And it started right off down south, and, and the hitting came along as well. And, uh, you know, we had some games where we put up uh, – Quite a few games where we put up double digits uh, in runs and that and the combination of um, our defense as well uh, so there's so many things that uh, that were pleasant surprises you expect them as a coach but uh, you know it, it doesn't always turn out that way uh, but we continue to work at things and it was a very successful trip i think we finished uh, uh, eight and four down <coughs> down south yep. and uh, there's always things to work on but um, uh, I was very happy with the results coming back, and, and, and it's not all about, as you say, Coach, it's not always about the wins and losses, it's about seeing what we've got and uh, things we've always got to continue to work on, uh, and I think we were able to accomplish uh, a lot of those things. Coach Moore, let's just have you uh, kind of speak on the, um, the competition down there um, and, and, and kind of what we see and, and, and kind of how, how we handle that aspect of it. Yeah, um, obviously our spring trip, it's, it's to see what we have and, and get better. And some of the, a lot of the teams we played there are four-year schools. So um, when we go down there, it's, you know, we're trying to play better competition than we're going to play at home is, is the goal. Um, and, and usually in our minds, I think we want to be close to 500 after spring break. And essentially this year we were four games above so it, it was it was pretty awesome to to have that happen but um so and like I said we're playing those teams because we want to get better and essentially the four-year schools have older kids I mean they're just more mature so it's it's good to go see that down there and come back up here and try to play at that at that level um, and as much as we, we preach about the the sports academy practice and it's still inside so essentially our first time being outside is um, when we get to Florida and we're playing teams that have already played, you know, eight, ten games outside. So that, that's also something we have to overcome as well. Um, and, and as fun as it is in that thing, it, it just gets boring. It's, it's, you know, you got to get outside in that sun and, and make you feel a little better than always looking outside at that snow. So it, it was a great trip. Um, we saw a lot of great things. And, and like I said, we came out eight and four. Um, Coach Guzman did a great job with the pitching staff. Um, and Coach Beach with the hitters as well. I mean, our, our, our defense is fielding at a pretty high percent. I mean, we, we talk about trying to beat a team every inning um, and break the game down that way. Um, a couple surprises I saw out there were some of the freshmen we let get playing time. I mean, we play 12 games in, what, I think seven days or eight days. I mean, it's everybody gets to play. So um, that, that's what it's about when we're down there is to get everybody experience, you know, get your feet wet to college baseball, especially the freshmen, because um, like I said, they don't know. They don't know the level that we're at or that we're trying to be at. So for them to get their feet wet was a big deal. And, and a lot of them responded well and through their hard work, I imagine it, it's, it, it's wrapping up to be real good. Yeah, the, the team cohesion part as well, you know, the chemistry that it's going to kind of help us get through some of the dog days of the season. Um, that, that's another glory of Florida. Uh, you know, actually, the, the food is even pretty good there on, uh, on staff or on the uh, grounds there at uh, Dodgertown. But um, it, it, it's been very beneficial to what we're trying to do here at Muskegon. 
Um, and, and we're hoping to continue a, you know, a, a continued business venture with these guys and, and, and hopefully it ends up where, where obviously we all want it to be. Um, let's just kind of move into the, uh, you know, we're, we're back home in Michigan now. Um, you know, we we're eight and four after our spring, spring trip. Uh, we're currently 16 and four. We're riding a eight game winning streak. Uh, kind of some of the things we've seen to this point. Um, and then we'll kind of go into, uh, you know, Kalamazoo Valley is waiting for us tomorrow. Um, actually, they come visit uh, us tomorrow here in Muskegon. Hopefully everybody will be able to get out and watch a little bit of the brand of baseball we're playing this year. Uh, it's pretty competitive. And then Saturday we go to Kalamazoo Valley. So it should be a really competitive weekend for us. It's going to be a real good measuring stick on, um, you know, where we'll fit in as far as the uh, postseason goes. And if if we have a legitimate chance of, of cracking that top three, that the reason why we why we all sit here and why we work 365 days a year. But uh, Coach Moore, we'll start with you. What what did you see out of the uh, four game series um, with Glen Oaks this past weekend in the uh, conference opener? Yeah, it was uh, it, it was the first time we've swept Glen Oaks since I've been here. They've always gotten one or two from us. They're they're a real gritty program. You know they. They battle you every game, every pitch. They, they do a lot of things well. Um, so for our kids to go out there and, and stay focused for four games, it was really awesome to see. It's, uh, you know, it, it's tough to do. Like, I, like Coach was saying, in our conference now, it's a little different than in the past. You know, we play four-game series where we play day-to-day, -day, or we'll play them Friday and then Saturday, back-to-back -back days. So it's, you know, once you play a team four, four times in two days, you learn a lot about them. And it's, you know, it's tough to beat anybody four times in two days. So for um, to start the conference like that, for our kids to go out there and grind and uh, pull out four victories was, was a big deal. Um, we had some, you know, some big outings. John Henry threw great. Um, Zach Northcott, our freshman, came in game two and set the tone, um, threw a lot of strikes. Um, again, our bats got going slow a little bit. And then what they've done a great job of is making adjustments. You know, we got kids coming in. They might have a poor at bat and they'll come into the dugout and they'll tell kids what they saw, if the kid has a slider, you know, breaking ball, what they see, you know, um, it, and it really helped us win all four. I mean, you go into the second day with, you know, all of these charts that we do on what they got going on and it, it really helps for adjustments. You know, it's, we don't just have talented and hardworking kids, but their, their baseball IQ is getting higher and that's something I noticed um, this series against Glen Oaks especially since they've always seemed to get one or two from us. And uh, this year we got the sweep and it, it was good. Coach, you want to talk on the hitting aspect of it? Kind of just uh, elaborate a little further and kind of on what Coach Moyer had kind of touched base on um, be, being our hitting coach. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun to see. Uh, one of the biggest things that I love with this group is, is uh, they're always staying positive. And, uh, you know, it, it seems like our, our path has been we struggle the first time through the lineup and then we continue to kick it into gear. Uh, there's been a handful of games we've come back, uh, been in a good battle, and like Coach Meyer said, we made the adjustments at the plate, and, and that's a, a big uh, contribute to uh, what we're all doing as coaches, and our players buy, buying in, they're listening, they're applying, and their attitude is, we're gonna beat you, and, and I love that about this team. It doesn't matter if we're, we were down seven or eight runs against Cleary, our first first game up north here, and we battled back and we ended up beating him. We're eight and L since we got back to the north, and uh, you know, half of these games we've been on, on the downside of it, losing at some point, but we just continue to grind at bats. We continue to talk about uh, being a tough out with two strikes, especially putting the ball in play and making sure that uh, you're forcing their defense to try and make a play on us. And uh, we continue to get it better with that, and, and we've got to continue to, to get even better uh, to continue on com competing. But uh, it's very exciting to see what the hitters have been doing and, and the excitement with the players. Yeah. Um, that, that was a big thing that, that stood up with me this weekend uh, with the four-game series with, with uh, Glen Oaks is all the kids are involved, all the kids are cheering, everybody's helping everybody out. And we've had some times where we had to have some players who've got some minor energy, injuries, they've had to sit out or whatever, and it's been next guy up, and that's been huge. And, and, and they have, there's guys that have stepped in and just 
done an incredible job, and it's, it's just been a total team effort. Yes, it's been a very selfless bunch of uh, student athletes. Um, it's been just great to coach them. Uh, I, I'm very excited to kind of see where it goes from here. Um, like I mentioned, we have Cave Valley uh, this weekend. Um, tomorrow we're home, Saturday we're on the road. Uh, then we go to, uh, I believe we go to Ancilla um, next Friday, then they're here next Saturday. Uh, we were blessed this year, we have five um, Saturday doubleheaders at our conference uh, for all the community to be able to come out and support us and, and, and see what our hard work has kind of, uh, you know, progressed into. Um, you know, then we follow Ancilla, I believe we play Grand Rapids Community College, which is obviously one of our uh, favorite conference, conference foes to play against. Um, we have a new team in our conference this year called uh, Mid-Michigan. I believe they're the Lakers. Um, we, we play them a four-game series. And then, of course, we've got the perennial powerhouse of Kellogg Community College. Uh, we're, we're patiently waiting for them and kind of see how, how, how their progress is. And, and it'll be another great, great uh, uh, measuring stick for us to see kind of where our program's at and, and what we still need to work on, um, you know, going into the, uh, hopefully, the postseason. And then we finish our conference season up with um, Lake Michigan uh, College, and, and they have a new coaching staff, and it should be, uh, sh should be another good test for us, and, and, and there's always uh, postseason complications on that. So a um, lot, lot of exciting, great things going on within the program. Um, you know, we're, we're happy with the support of all of you guys. Hopefully you guys will get out and watch us play. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like the product that we put on the field this year. Um, and, and, and we've got a ton of kids that are getting a lot of interest um, at the higher universities, being Division One and Division Two, to uh, to carry on their careers after Muskegon. So it's it's just a great time to be involved with the program. Um, you know, we appreciate the, the community's total support. Um, you know, and anything we can ever do, I'm trying to uh, set up with a couple of the local uh, schools here in the area and have some of our kids go out and read to. Uh, to future Jayhawks, whether they be um, in, in our sports programs or, or just at our college here um, looking for a higher education. So, um, you know, we hope to, to, to run these uh, every two, three weeks, the uh, baseball shows and kind of keep everybody up on uh, the latest and greatest of, of how the program's doing, where we're at, what we're getting better at, how we're learning, uh, how we're progressing. Um, so, uh, final question, Coach. Uh, where do you see us finishing, Coach Beach? Well, the expectations, uh, we expect to finish first. And that's, that's the attitude we always take, and that's what we drill into our kids. That's our expectations. Coach Moyer, um, who, who are the guys we should be shooting for as far as the conference goes, in, in, in your eyes? Like the other teams in our conference? Yes. Yeah, um, obviously the, on our side, you know, Grand Rapids is always tough. Kellogg is always tough. I mean, it, it's, it's a tough conference in general. I mean, that's, you know, our expectations are high. They're always high. Um, we're just always trying to get better every weekend. Um, you know, for the most part, as far as, w you know, we know Kellogg's always been at the top for the most part, and GR and Kalamazoo Valley is going to be a great test for us this weekend. Um, and we're just going to continue to learn and grow. That's what it's about. And, you know, our hard work will, will present itself. That's, that's our motto every day is continue the climb, keep learning, keep getting better. Um, but, but we know to finish in that top three, it's, it's going to be a battle with Kellogg, Grand Rapids, and K-Valley for the most part. That's, those are the guys where uh, the teams we've, we know we have to reach their level of competition. Um, they're, they're tough every year. They're tough series. There's a lot of good coaching in this conference, a lot of good um, a lot of good baseball, like Coach says. I hope we can get some support out there. Some people come and watch. You know, not too, every time we ask a question about who's seen JUCO baseball, a lot of people, a lot of recruits, we come in well, we've never watched, and it's. I think it's a higher level than most people give credit for. Um, it, it's fun baseball to watch, um, and like I said, we got a good group of kids with a lot of energy, and you know, we got some speed, we got some power, we got some pitching, and we play pretty good defense. So, you know, we should be fun to watch. Yes, uh, you know, we're, we're wrapping up here. We'd like to uh, thank you guys all for watching. Um, hopefully we'll catch you guys at a game. Uh, we do have a few travel teams that uh, come on out and they uh, mirror the student athletes um, during, during our batting practices. Uh, so, you know, we'll get the uh, hot dogs and the Gatorades and the, and the potato chips going and it's just a great day at the park. Um, so stop on out. Thanks for watching. And as always, 
Go Jayhawks. And make sure you follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. You can also get into the MCC website as well and follow our progress. We hope to see you out there. Thanks for watching.